Hey, uh, it's Chris. I have a few minutes on this video. Um, I just did a big video about like political stuff or whatever, but I forgot something and it wouldn't have been appropriate in that context, but it is appropriate in general. And I want to talk about it because it's serious. Um, some of you may have heard of Jared Wilson. He's a, he was uh, a pastor, an associate pastor at a mega church, I think in California. He actually was on staff with Greg Laurie, uh, who, if you grew up like I did in sort of like evangelical and evangelical adjacent Christian circles, you would have known about Greg Laurie. I think he started in the Vineyard Movement um, back in the day, or the Calvary Chapel Movement, actually, I think. Anyway, Jared Wilson was 30 years old. And Jared Wilson, I look at the guy, I've never heard of him before today. Uh, I look at his website, and he looks just like me. I mean, he's better looking than I am, but I mean, he's got hipster glasses, he's got high blonde hair, he's got literally a denim shirt like the one I'm wearing today was, was the picture of him on his website. And Jared Wilson was one of these, he was, he was more conservative theologically, I'm sure, than I am, but that doesn't matter for what I'm going to talk about. He was one of these voices within that part of Christianity that was trying to destigmatize mental health issues and trying to destigmatize depression. And he spoke uh, uh, candidly about his own struggles. And uh, he yesterday officiated a funeral for a woman who died by suicide. And last night, Jared Wilson also lost his life to suicide. I said I don't know him I have never heard of him before but I know what it's like to be depressed I know what it's like to be full of anxiety um, and my heart goes out to his family to his wife and to his kids um, I don't so, having battling depression and anxiety and other things suicidal ideation and all that stuff is hard enough and then you go and become a pastor and I got to tell you, as a pastor, we get beat up. We get beat up. And you people might not like the way I'm going to phrase this, but I don't really care. Um, pastor, Pastors, I guess, and consultants are the only jobs in the world, and I'm sure other religious professionals too, this is not just a Christian problem, okay, are the only, only professionals in the world who go and get trained and spend a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of reading and a lot of education to get trained to do a job to then be told how terrible we are at our job by people who are rank amateurs at what we do. And that's not a judgment or a criticism of anybody's faith or conviction or sincerity, but but there's something really to that. Anyway, when you're a pastor, everybody in the congregation can feel like they're your boss and you can be made to feel that way. Um, what I'm trying to say, guys, is it's a really lonely job a lot of the time, um, especially when you're a solo pastor. Now, Jared was on staff, but you know, it doesn't matter. Suicidal ideation and, and, and these things, these aren't decisions made by rational minds and healthy minds. I don't care who you are or what you do for a living. If you're struggling, please reach out. This is National Suicide uh, Awareness and Prevention Month. We're going to be doing a job in October on the food truck dedicated toward um, helping end suicide or helping raise awareness about suicides because we need to destigmatize it in all areas of life and my heart is broken for Jared and for his family and I see a lot of myself in him and that's hard too, right? So my prayers, and I do mean my prayers, are with his family and with everybody who's struggling and um, I don't know what else to say but be good to each other.